calling the business willfully dishonest, the state of Colorado has now revoked the license of a cremation company we've been investigating. CBS4 investigator Brian Moss says the state verified our reporting on heritage cremation. It shut the company down in December, but Brian tells us tonight it hasn't buried heritage cremation just yet. Grandma was a great grandma. Um, she was kind and she was funny. When her beloved grandmother died of breast cancer, Deanna Jackson searched the internet and signed up with Heritage Cremation Providers. Their webpage suggested they were local. Everything I read on this website gave me the impression that they were local and it was extremely disheartening to find out we were misled. When she learned Heritage was nothing more than a cremation middleman with no local presence, she tried to get her money and her grandmother's body back, but says the company refused to reveal where her grandmother's remains were. But ultimately, they didn't give me the name of the funeral home. They wouldn't tell you where no. your grandma was? Nope. In revoking their license, the state of Colorado found the company has repeatedly withheld bodies until loved ones coughed up more money. And in putting them out of business, Colorado investigators verified what we reported. Heritage has no facilities and no employees in Colorado to do cremations. They hire other companies to do the work. They are essentially body brokers with a website. And it was kind of the beginning of a, another nightmare on top of losing Jake. When Lisa Colton's son Jake died in a Colorado ski accident in 2015, an internet search led to Heritage to handle the arrangements in Boulder. Their site said they offered trusted cremation services in Boulder, family owned and operated for over two decades. But we found they only got a license to do cremations in Colorado about four years ago. Uh, they were scam artists and they had no soul, no integrity, no ethics. Their site says they offer trusted cremation services in Memphis or Minneapolis or virtually any city you plug in. The state now says this website is misleading and called this a deceptive business practice. Well, one of the things I am interested in is cost for a simple cremation. Although the state pulled their license in December, they haven't buried heritage cremation quite yet. Yeah, how much would I pay you for this? Just last month, after they were stripped of their license, their website was still up when I called their 800 number to request a cremation in Colorado. No problem. So it would be $995? Do you accept credit cards? That's beyond horrifying to me that they should be thrown in jail if they're not already in jail. Blue collar, white collar, rich or poor, there's families out there being taken advantage of. I'm Brian Moss, covering Colorado first. In a follow-up call, the owner of Heritage said he wasn't aware his website was still up, said he shifted the 800 number to another cremation company he operates. He claims he is doing nothing wrong or illegal.